viewers we are presenting another important video in the water treatment and especially in the reverse osmosis or in nano filtration process this is called scaling scaling is an unavoidable phenomena we can control it through some means by using some strategies but we cannot completely avoid this this is basically a uh, one uh, aspect or one type of fouling which we already described in previous videos so in this video we will describe the reasons for scaling and then an other important topic which is called limiting salt we will describe how how can we calculate the limiting salt reverse osmosis for the production of a pure water then when water passes through the membrane we get a product water which is obtained after passing from the membrane and the remaining feed water which could not be purified or due to some reason feed water becomes increasingly concentrated in dissolved solids that is the solid which are present in the feed water now concentrated and they are present in the reject or in the concentrate so when the concentration of some of the scale forming species exceeds saturation that is their solubility is decreases or their concentration is so much increased that they cannot further soluble in the water so this cause salts to precipitate onto the surface of the membrane and causing it to plug so this process is called scaling so in this diagram you can see here is a membrane and we have a scale formation scale forming compound like calcium carbonate calcium sulfate and after some time when their concentration are increased they are now settled on the membrane pores and they plug this phenomena is called the uh, scaling and this is happen when their saturation level reaches in the water Uh, which is now becoming the concentrate or reject and pure water or purified water is passed through the membrane and we get there but now the passage or pores of the membrane or uh, block or plug so we cannot get further uh, good quality water so problems arises due to scaling here there are some problems which are arises due to scaling number 1 the higher energy used due to pore plugging so we need more energy so that water can pass through these plugged pores and what happen with this with the membrane the shorter life span of the membrane as needed cleaning more often so we have to clean again and again if there is a more scaling tendency in the water and producing additional solids within the ro feed water due to high membrane flux so when we when the flux is increased due to increasing the energy or pressure then the more salts will pass in the permeate and it is basically reducing the quality of the uh, pure water there are some famous scale forming species which are calcium carbonate calcium sulfate calcium phosphate and sulfate based compounds of barium and strontium and there is another important is silica these are few important compound which have a tendency to form the scale in the membrane now due to this uh, scaling there are some operational or performance issues due to scaling what are those higher than normal operating pressure why because to compensate for lower flux at constant pressure so this is the, the reason for the normal operating pressure is because now pore has plug and we need uh, more energy or more pressure so that we can get the same amount of water or same keeping the same flux higher pressure drop resistance of the scale to cross flow because this is a cross flow uh, filtration process so uh, 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 across the membrane there is a more pressure so high, higher pressure drop from across the membrane and third one is lower than expected salt rejection concentration polarization we know that reverse osmosis is basically uh, <coughs> polarization uh, salt polarization 
technique due to uh, presence of the potential or osmosis gradient we have a different uh, concentration across the membrane or due to this uh, polarization when there is a high salt are present on the surface the, and low salt on the uh, after uh, in the pure water across the membrane so more salts passes through the membrane which basically affect the quality of the permeate this is basically uh, due to the polarization concentration across the membrane now the scaling potential of dissolved substances is basically indicated by measurements of conductivity and concentration of specific ion what this mean that we will check the conductivity of the feed water and the species present in it so coupled with the related calculations of saturation level of sparingly soluble compounds so those salts which are sparingly soluble in the water they basically settled on the or precipitate on the surface of the membrane when their concentration increase or beyond to some uh, solubility limits so we have to monitor the conductivity and the specific ions present in the water to check the scaling potential of the feed water if like calcium ions or silica are very low then there is a low scaling tendency if any of these salts are in higher concentration in the feed water this will produce or there is a greater chance of scaling on the membrane surface so question arises why this and when scaling occur when and why this scaling occur so scale will form when ion product is greater than the solubility product this is basically or you can say the definition principle or thumb rule or you can also say whenever the ratio of the ion product to the ksp solubility product exceeds to 1 when it will go higher than 1 then there is a chance that scale will be formed basis on on of this these definition we will explain this ion product and solubility product now in this video also so when scaling will occur again there is a potential for a scale deposition on the reverse osmosis ro or nf nano filtration membrane and pre treatment is essential so when we found after uh, analysis of the water that there is a tendency or potential of the scale deposition Uh, in the ro due to presence of some scale forming species then pre treatment is essential for example if sulfate based scales then scaling can occur when the ion product is greater than 80% of the solubility what this mean that if there is sulfate <coughs> ions are present in excess in the feed water then if their ion product is greater than 80% of the solubility product then scale formation will start so if this depend on each type of species we will explain this in the coming uh, part of the video there is another important term that is called saturation level what is saturation level it can be <coughs> explained as the concentration at which any scaling compound like calcium carbonate or calcium sulfate in the concentrate or reject reach is saturation is called saturation level and must be determined so we need to determine the basically the concentration of ions present in the reject or concentrate so we can check whether there is some uh, scaling is going on in the membrane or not so a value in excess of the compound saturation point leads to inorganic scaling now the saturation level of each dissolved constituent depends on several factors including concentration of the species ph of the feed water and temperature at which the process is going on and ionic strength of the salts these are different parameters which contribute plays role uh, in the determination of saturation level now solubility product so scaling is a basically concentration phenomena therefore scale would be most likely found in the last stages of an ro why because concentration of the salt increasing as water passes through the different membranes at the beginning of the membrane 
at the beginning of the membrane the concentration of these sparingly soluble salts is less as water moves further in the membrane the concentration increases and therefore you can say that there is a chance of there is a greater chance of the scale formation in the later stages now to determine the potential for a salt to form a scale the ion product of salt is compared with the solubility product as we described earlier for the salt under the conditions in the reject or in concentrate so solubility product at saturation can be calculated with the help of this equation ksp very famous solubility product constant is equal to cation multiply concentration of cation and concentration of anion and ion product at any degree at any degree of saturation ion product is basically cation concentration at any point multiplied by anion concentration at any point so this is the saturation at this is at any stage like in low concentration at any any concentration when it dissolved or <coughs> in the solution so a is the number of cation present within the salt and b is the number of anion present within the salt for example in case of calcium carbonate cacio3 so we can say number of cation is calcium 1 and carbonate anion its number is 1 here some common limiting salts and their solubility product is tabulated here for example at 25 degree centigrade calcium carbonate had ksp value 8.3 calcium fluoride 8.27 calcium phosphate 25 calcium sulfate 4.7 so you can see that these value shows that highest solubility product is in this case is calcium phosphate while uh, silica is 2.7 which and then we can say calcium sulfate is 4.7 so these are basically few of the <coughs> solubility product values of some limiting salts which are commonly present and create scaling now <clears throat> this is another important topic of this video that how we can calculate the limiting salt calculation this is basically formula ksp basically we modified this expression and uh, we will not describe how we dri derive this equation maybe in another video we will describe this so ksp is basically this is the concentration of a which is cation and we modified this with 1 minus sp over 1 minus r and then this is with the anion now here sp is basically salt passage from the membrane this is a constant value and this is provided by a supplier for their membrane and r is the recovery how much recovery we get from the feed water so for most diffusion control membrane processes like ro nf spa salt passage a and salt passage for b which is from the membrane can be considered to be negligible because all these salts in normal condition can easily passes through it so we consider or is <coughs> neglect this value at this moment for these membrane specifically ro or nf so ksp now become a plus p which is as you can say cation and 1 minus r and b which is n9 1 minus r r is basically the recovery of the water so by applying this we can calculate uh, this all the example for the calcium carbonate now calcium carbonate ionized in the water making calcium ion and carbonate and ksp solubility product is 10 raised to power minus 8.3 as we know now if calcium concentration is 8 mg per liter and carbonate 3 mg per liter we convert this in moles per liter so this is moles per liter 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 molar and 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 molar uh, concentration of calcium and carbonate we put this values in this equation and <clears throat> by keeping 1 minus r is equal to x we found the value of x which is 1.41 or again substituting r is equal to 1 minus 1.4 this is r which is equal to x so r is equal to 1 minus 
फोर वन एंड वी गेट आर इज इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर वन सो दिस इंडिकेट दैट सोलोबिलिटी ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट इज ऑलरेडी एक्सीडेड एंड कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट विल प्रेसिपिटेट इन दी फीड वाटर ड्यू टू दिस कंसनट्रेशन सो दिस इज दी वे हाउ कैन वी प्रिडिक्ट whether with this this amount or this concentration the, the these salts will be precipitate or not if this value is greater than 1 it will not precipitate <coughs> in the r if for case of r because r shows that there is no calcium and carbonate are coming because this is the the minus value so in the recovery there is no calcium and no carbonate it means they are stop on the surface if this value is positive then this mean these salts are coming in the you can say in the recovery or it must be around zero it means balance and then we can find for other salts as so we can if we know the concentration like calcium sulfate or calcium phosphate and we can apply this formula and by using this expression we can find the limiting salt concentration that is whether it will form scale or not the purpose of calculating the limiting salt is to find out whether they are making a scaling process or not so this is all about the uh, reverse osmosis scaling some basics and how we can calculate the limiting salt from this uh, expression